Good evening, everyone. Hello. Good evening. If you're online, let me know. Okay, don't mind me. I'm resetting my phone camera. So let me know if you're online so that we can start. Okay. I scheduled this live video, I think two days ago, but I've been busy. I couldn't like come online to make videos. So I'm back online today. I think I should be able to shoot. I don't know why I'm not able to rotate. Okay. Good evening, everyone. If you can hear me loud and clear, let me know in the comment section. If you are joining me, hello, good evening. I'm sorry I had to keep postponing this live video. This is because I've I've been busy with a whole lot of things. Also, if you are hearing or you'll be hearing dog barks, so just accept me like that. I have lots of dogs here, so you might hear dog barks. Anyhow, so today I'll, I want to talk about reasons you don't make profit from your farm. I've seen or I've, most people have reached out to me, people that are like, they once own farmlands that they abandoned because they're not making profit from it. I have someone that reached out to me recently, which prompts me to do this video. The person reached out to me. He said that he has 10 hectares of land. They did um, cassava. They did um, oil palm. They did lots of things on that farmland. They, did, um, they made a structure for pig. They have goats. All animal you can think of. That was what they had on the farm. But the farm is not generating profit for them. So they have to shut the farm down. So that um, what can they do? Things like that. So that's what I'll be talking about today. Reasons you don't make profit from your farm. What caused this? Why are you not making profit? Even though we see agriculture is profitable. Before I proceed this night, I want to make a point. Agriculture is very profitable. Farming is just a small aspect of agriculture. Don't mix it up. Agriculture is very wild, is broad, is wide. But farming is just a tiny bit of agriculture. And yes, agriculture is profitable. And yes, farming is profitable. What makes it not profitable is because there are things that you are not doing. There are things that you should do before you start that you are not doing. Or there are things that you are meant to put in place that you are not doing. So that's what I'll be talking about today. I'll be sharing with you some of the reasons you might not be making profit from your farm. So if you can relate with these reasons, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you have an addition or a subtraction to what I'm going to say, let me know in the comment section. Like I do say, this is my own personal opinion. This is what I think. So you might have your own personal opinion. You might have other things in mind, but this is my own personal opinion. Okay. So the first reason I have here is you don't plan your farm to be a business. hundred percent. Most people don't plan their farm to be a business. They just um, start farming. They take farming as a hobby. Your farm is not a hobby. If you're investing your money, you're investing your time, you're investing your energy into something. It's not a hobby. It's a business. So most people don't take their farm as a business. That's one reason you might not be making profit from your farm. Because you feel this just not be. Let me just put my money there. If I put money there, anytime it like, it will be bringing that money. No. You should be able to account for any penny that is going into your farm. So let's take, for example, I want to go into cucumber farming. E.g., I want to go into cucumber farming. I'm buying seed. I'm buying fertilizer. I'm going to pay them for clearing of land. Let's say the total money spent on an acre is 50,000 naira. Let's take, for example, 50,000 naira. I should make that capital back and I should make my profit back. The things that I'm meant to do that will, make that, that, that will enable me to make profit is what I am to do. Do you understand? But most people feel, okay, I have 10 acres of land. Let's just do cucumber. Anyhow, anyhow, anything that comes out, let's know. It things are not done like that. If you take, if you keep doing it like that, you will make profit from your farm. So that's one reason you are not making profit from your farm. You are taking your farm as a hobby. It is not a hobby. Like I said, anything you're investing your time, your money, your energy into is not a hobby. It's a business and you should make profit from it. So one reason that you are not making profit from your farm is because you are taking your farm as a hobby. Change that. Okay. 
So that's the first reason. If you are guilty of this reason, let me know in the comment section. Okay, so the second reason you're not making profit from your farm is most of we, will I say most of we, <laughs> most people think having a big farm is making profit. I don't know if that sounds nice to the ear. Most people think big farm, like if I have 100 hectares of land, I'm definitely going to be making 100 million naira. It doesn't work that way. You might have 100 hectares of land and someone that have one acre will be making more profits than you. So big farm does not necessarily mean big money. Remove that mentality. So if you're starting your farm, maybe you have funds, huge funds for, uh, for 100 hectares, please stop there. Don't go for that 100 hectares yet. Start with one acre and make sure that that one acre is productive before you start expanding. Do you understand? So large acres or big farm does not necessarily mean you are making profit from your farm. Okay, so there's one thing you should note. Okay, the reason you're not making profit from your farm is because you think that since you have large acres of land or large land size that you should be able to make money from it. That's the mentality. So you need to change that mentality. Having a big land or a big land space does not mean you make big money. Someone that has small land space might be utilizing it more than you that have big land space. Okay, so that's the reason number two. I've mentioned the first reason. I've mentioned the second reason. Let me know the one you fall into in the comment section. Okay, the third reason is most people invest their money in structures without thinking of productivity. This is very wide. This is, this is a topic on its own that I'm planning to shoot a video on. When you want to start farming, you want your farm to be structured. You want that best design for that goat pen. You want that best design for your brella farm. You want that best design for, for your cucumber side. Good structures is good. I'm not, I'm not like, uh, I'm not castigating it. It's very good to put your things in place, have good structures, but having, focusing more on good structures, eh, and less on productivity is F9. Are you getting me? You can start making profit from your farm without some structures in place. Are you with me? So let me give you this example. There was this land I leased in 2018. There was the land I leased. The land is a 20 acres of land. Is it acres or hectares? Now on that farmland, I met farmhouse, I met turkey um, house, I met um, dairy, um, cassava processing slots, I met um, fish pond, I met different structures on that farm. I met every single thing on that farm, but that particular farm was abandoned. Okay, I had to like come in and start utilizing few things. I utilized the cassava processing and make sure I made my own profit, which I'm always after. What I'm trying to say is having structure is good, but focusing more on structures and not the productivity of your farm is wrong. So like it, as a newbie, or let's say you have huge funds, you want to go into farming, because I have loads of people that are reaching out to me recently and they are telling me, okay, Juliet, I have um, 10 acres of land. I want to put this thing in place. I want to put goats here. I want to put cow here. And I ask you, have you done this thing before? Are you starting? Have you tried this thing before? And they say, no, I just want my farm to be beautiful. Beautiful farm does not determine your profit. Instead of that money that you're wasting on structures, why don't you like channel that money into making money from your farm? Like making that farm more productive. I don't know if you are getting this point. Making money from your farm, then using the money, the profit from your farm in building structures is better than just building structures, focusing more on structures because you want to have a beautiful farm. I've been to different beautiful farm and most of them are shut down. They are locked, they are, they are on lockdown. They are not functioning anymore because they focus more on structures and not on the productivity of the farm. If you are a newbie, if you want to start farming, please, this is for you. Focus on what will generate money for you. Don't focus on, okay, I want to start. If it's brella you want to go into, if it's a small block you can raise and um, put roof, take um, tarpaulin, round it, start rearing your birds. It's better than wasting all your funds on building. Okay, I want to build and build. And at the end of the day, the, what you build, you cannot take care of the birds you have on ground. Do you understand me? Structures are good, but I only advise structures when you're already making money from your farm and you're investing it in structures. This is what I did. 
your name into crop rabbitry farm setup and rest majorly i'm into planting and rabbitry now when i was starting my rabbits i went to get um this battery cage for them i got two to three battery cage when i noticed that these um rabbits are increasing over time and i started selling once I sell and I make my profit, I take my profit and invest in the housing. I didn't take my phone to start building house because I want to start up um, rabbitry. Let me start building, building. What if I start building and at the end of the day, I'm not making money from my rabbit farm? I have to make sure this thing is, will give me money before I start investing more. And as it's bringing money, I'm investing the money back there. Same with my crops. When I, I have like huge ideas on my head right now, I have huge vision, but because I have the funds to do this particular thing does not mean I will start pumping on my money into it. The other things I can invest my money in, still in agriculture, that will give me money to put this, my structures in place. So why don't I invest my money in this thing that will give me more money than just building structures? If I build goat's pen and my goat are there, is it the pen that the goat will be eating? Do you understand? You need money to run this particular thing. So why don't you just start minimal? And when you start making your profits, when you start making money from the thing you're investing in, then you expand. Okay, so this is for newbie. And for people that have funds, like people that really want to go into agriculture big, big time, it's good to go do your structures. But at the same time, don't focus more on structures. Focus more on your productivity. Focus, what you should be thinking is, okay, if I spend my money on this thing, will I generate money from it? How will I generate money from it? That should be the way you're thinking because this is a business. And as you're putting your money, you should expect more money back from it. See, this is not olden days that uh, we will say cutlass and ho. Anything we see, God, we thank you. No. As you have your inputs eh, and your outputs must give you your profits. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, but I hope you are getting the point. Okay, structures are good, but focus more on productivity. Okay, so let's, um, let me run it up with this, um, someone that has like huge acres of land. Okay, you have the dream. We all have a dream. My dream, I just started working on my dream, like my ideal um, farm this year. I just started working on it. Imagine how many years I've been in the industry, but I just started like putting things in play because I have gained experience. I know where to put my money. I know, okay, if I'm doing this thing, I am not making mistakes, I am making my money back. So imagine the years I've started farming and I'm like, building it gradually don't worry once the, the the food is ready you guys will all see it on social media here okay so let me round it up like this someone that has like 10 acres of land let's say you are new you've watched my videos on youtube you are impressed and you want to go into farming and you feel okay i have this um hundred million nera that i want to invest i've gotten 100 acres of land ah I think I should build a farmhouse here. Ah, I think I need to put solar panel here. I think I need to do this one. Ah, drainage, I must do it here. Damn, it's good, it's fine, it's awesome. But as you are thinking, as you are thinking, ask yourself, that solar panel, if I buy that solar panel, what will be the work? Hope it's not that I'm just need to charge my phone. Oh, okay, this solar panel should be able to help us pump water that will channel to this crop that will generate profit for me. That should be your mentality. Okay, that's for those that has, has huge funds okay um the next point i have here is the main reason some people or most people don't make profits from their farm this is the obonge obolobo reason people don't make profit from their farm and that is you don't test waters before farming yes will i say 60 70 percent 80% of people that are into farming right now, they don't test waters before starting before they start farming. What do I mean by test waters? You've been to a farm, you like the way um, this person farm looks like. Sorry, you've been to a farm, you like the way this person's farm looks like. Yo, this is wow, this is beautiful. I want to do this thing on my farm. You don't know how that person is making a profit from their farm. You've not test waters. Okay, um, since this person is into cucumber farming, eh, let, I must plant cucumber. Meanwhile, even cucumber is not generating money. Or cucumber is not even the main deal that is generating money for them. That's for people that have huge fun. Now, let me talk to students that are in the group. If you're a student in this group and you are interested in agriculture, you are one way or the other interested in farming and you want to get started, Test your waters. When I mean test your waters, if you plan planting pl um, pepper on large acres of land, if you plan planting pepper, 
plantain, tomato on large acres of land. Instead of planting, pause. I know you have the funds to plant. I know you saved up money. I was once in your shoe. Pause. Go and look for where these commodities are cheap. Start trading. You see, this initial stage is what matters. This is what differentiates successful farmers from farmers that are still struggling. You see, this initial stage of you testing waters, selling commodity, understanding the market of that commodity. Go to where the commodity you want to farm is cheap. Start trading it. During trading, you will make mistakes. That your mistake. You use it to learn when you start farming. You use it to understand how to do pricing. I told someone recently, I said, I don't sell my bunch of plantains less than 2,000 era. The ones I sell 1,005, maybe they are very, very small. And someone said, ah, hey, it's expensive. Oh, me, ah, plantain that is to price 500 era, 700 era. That is your market. I have done my research. I know my own market and I'm working with my market. That, you are selling 500 now because that's the level you've placed your market. That's the level you've placed yourself. I'm selling my own at this price because I have done some underground work which some of you don't want to do or which most people don't want to do. So this underground work is me testing what I've sold to this market. Ah, this market, I've lost though. They didn't buy it. Away. I've sold to the other market. Okay, I think this market is manageable. Why don't I push forward? I move till I get what is profitable for me. So it's not something that you just, okay, imagine I didn't do all these things and I just started to plant and at the revenge of uh, market women, I'm going to just sell anyhow. I don't know if you guys read um, one of my posts. I made a post, I think sometime last year when I was sharing my experience on when I started farming. For those that didn't watch it or didn't listen to it or didn't read it, I will tell you here. Yeah. When I started, after reading on Google, internet, that uh, vegetable, during rainy season, if you plant vegetable, you make times 10. Your favorite farm girl went to plant plenty vegetable. After planting, we harvested. I was on farm throughout that night. Midnight harvesting, time, rain beat us. When we took it to the market to sell, guess how much your favorite girl sold? A, 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 a big bunch of ewedu. I sold it 10 naira. Something that people are telling me that you sell it for 100 naira. I sold it 10 naira. Imagine the loss. Even I had to pay people that worked for me with my own personal money. What I planted didn't give me money. So it's very important. So imagine I've tried it. Okay, I've gotten from people that are selling in bulk, like in bulk, and I sold to different markets. I will understand the market that favors me. I will understand the right market. I will understand, okay, how this commodity is being priced in different locations, and I will pick the one that favors me. But because I didn't know these things then, I was just a learner. I made error. So you are, you, you are a learner, and you are privileged to be in this group to learn. Test your water before you start. I know you are captivated. You, you want to have huge farmland. You want to do a lot of things. You want to start farming. Farming is good. But what's the essence of farming? Tilling the ground, stressing yourself. When at the end of the day, you will not make money from what you are doing. That's if you do not put a lot of things in place. So why don't you put those things in place first? Understand it first. Then start farming. I also gave an example on when I was out of rabbits. I gave an example here. You know, I share my experience. I share my stories here. I gave an example and I told you guys that there was a time I was out of rabbits. Like all my rabbits finished in my rabbit tree. Like I sold them out. But I was getting orders for rabbits. How did I do it? I had to start sourcing for people. I source, I process, I pack. You can do these things. You don't need to own a rabbit farm. Like, you don't need to own a brella or layer farm to do this. I had a rabbit farm. I sold out everything in my farm, like, because the others kept coming. I had to start sourcing from people. Do you understand me? So you need to test waters. If you, you are thinking of um, plantain business or you want to start plantain farming, start trading plantain first. Trade plantain so you know how much you will sell your plantain later in future. Once you start harvesting, you don't just plant and wait. Okay, they said it's nine to ten months that we start harvesting. Once it's the tenth month, we we'll harvest and go and say, my dear, once it's time to sell, you will not know the right price to sell. At the end of the day, you'll be frustrated and you, you say farming is not profitable. Meanwhile, you refuse to do your, your own homework. Okay? So that is, I think I've given you like one, two, three, four, four reasons why um, you don't make profit from your farm. The final reason that I'm going to give you tonight, then I'm going to entertain questions. If you have any questions, 
leave it in the comment section because this live video will be ending soon also the live video will have a replay on youtube for people that are not online currently i'm going to leave um, a replay on youtube so you can catch up on youtube i'm sorry for that dog that is barking it's late at night and security purpose okay the last reason i have here is quality seed quality maintenance quality quality seed quality maintenance and so on and so forth now let's come to crop farmers then i'm going to come to animal farmers you see crop farmers especially people that have funds all these are about people that have funds hey, i'm coming behind you people all these people that have like huge money after investing they, they don't mind wasting money getting land they don't mind wasting money uh, uh, putting structures on their farm but you see once it comes to getting good seed good fertilizer and maintaining their farm it's always a problem you will definitely not make profit from your farm if you're not investing in good seed quality seed if you're not investing in maintenance see people will invest 100 acres of land and at the end of the day you see that weed has covered everything they've planted because they think the the farm will start clearing itself it will clear itself on itself i don't understand the english i'm speaking they think the the, the, the farm will take care of itself maintenance and farm management is key Anything you are doing, if even though you have like the best soil type, like I do preach, even though you have the best soil type, if you are not going for the right seed, the right seedling, the right suckers, the right plants, you are not going to make profit from your farm. Okay? You are definitely not going to make profit from your farm because you'll be frustrated. And maybe you, you are meant to plant hybrid and you went to plant local and at the end of the day, you, the, 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 the production level, the productivity is low. You cannot sell. The market is rejecting your product. After investing funds, how will you make profit? Instead of you to close out and buy that expensive hybrid seed and start and know that, okay, everything you are doing is fine now. I said it in one of my videos. I said when, I'm, when I was still doing cucumber, like full-time cucumber, I invest in seed. You see, techism seeds are very expensive. But at the end of the day, techism seeds are the best for me. Because low maintenance, you, you don't really have issue with pesticide and the rest. So I prefer spending that huge money getting seed than getting any house seed. And I'll start fighting mildew, start fighting this one, start fighting this one. So it's important to invest in quality farm inputs. That's what I'm going to call it. Farm inputs can be fertilizer, can be seed, and good maintenance. See, good management. Some people hire a farm manager. They will say the farm manager should be clearing. Most farm managers don't know their work. As a farm manager, if you're in this group, if you want more consultation on how you go about your work, send me a DM. We are here to guide you. Farm manager, you should be able to set the farm, know how to operate the farm, know the right time to carry out some activities. But the problem is most farm owners are not even willing to pay farm managers because they feel that particular department is, is overrated. They shouldn't pay for it. But that's the most important aspect of your farm, the management of the farm. Okay, so these are the reasons you are not making profit from your farm. I think I've mentioned five reasons. One, you don't take your farm as a business. Two, most people like focus more on structures. They want big farm. They think um, a big farm is a profitable farm. Three, um, um, they don't test waters. Test ground. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I'm sorry it has to be this late, but because I promised I was going to do a live video, I had to do a live video this night. Even though I'm switched from my face and I'm stressed, I had to do the live video. So leave your comments in the comment section. I'm going to reply. Any question you have, leave it in the comment section. I'm going to be here in the next 10 minutes. Then I'm going to end the video. Leave your questions. Um, on why you think you're not making profit from a farm. If you're a farm owner and you fall under any of the category I listed, let me know so that I will know how to start working or start helping you make money from your farm. Because like I said, this year, we are all about profitable farming. Like I'm in back to back. I'm trying to like position and structure myself so that I can have time for the group and bring you guys tips and ideas that, you can, um, that can help you make profit from your farm. Okay. Also, um... I have loads of agribusiness ideas that have been dishing out lately on my YouTube channel. If you are not on that YouTube channel, you are sitting on a long thing. Go and watch the videos and start something. Start something, even though it's small. Someone reached out to me that they want to start an agribusiness on spices. 
the thing about me is I give free information too much that most people don't like making use of the free information. Go and start something. This is this is March. March we end next week. By next week we enter April. There's no we don't have time. Okay? Start something this year and start making money. If there are no questions, I'm going to end this video right now. Okay. I have like three minutes to go. Okay, I'm going to reply your questions maybe later in the day when I come online. Also, there will be a replay of this on our YouTube channel for those that want to watch a replay on the YouTube channel. All right. Thank you for watching and have a lovely evening. Good night.